President Reston of the New York Times. Sir, in the last uh, few weeks, the Russians have been using some pretty rough language to our allies, notably the Japanese and uh, just this last week, the Norwegians, threatening them that uh, if they permit bases on their territory, uh, they can expect some pretty severe retaliation. I wonder, sir, whether you have any comment about uh, violating the UN Charter and threatening the use of force as the, as the Russians have been doing. Well, of course, um, we recognize that any nation in the world has a right to take such measures as it deems necessary for its own uh, security and defense. I think the statements of the Russians are completely indefensible. And uh, while I know of no specific purpose or plan that leads to this um, uh, particular charge they're making and their particular threats, as you call them, that they're making, the uh, right of Norway to take any measures it pleases within its own country for its own security certainly is clear. And I might point out that when I went to Europe in um, 1951, or December 50, that the same charges and same threats were made at that moment. Mr. President Smith of the United Press, there are reports from the Middle East this morning that Saudi Arabian troops are moving or have moved to the edge of the Gulf of Aqaba in what seems to be an effort or plan to blockade Israeli shipping. There were also reports overnight of new Syrian attacks on Israeli villages or installations. Now this seems to indicate to people in that part of the world some deterioration in the Mideast situation. How do you feel about it, sir? Well, of course we have a long history here, uh, Mr. Smith, of, um, of uh, disorder, riots, raids back and forth, and different kinds of moves uh, uh, in, in the War of Nerves. Now, the actual uh, passage is, I, I believe, through the Gulf of Aqaba, is uh, much uh, nearer to the western than to the eastern shore. So just watch the movement of these um, troops on the part of Saudi Arabia could mean, I, I don't know, but I would doubt that it has any uh, great uh, significance so far as the use of the Gulf of Aqaba's international waterway would be concerned. Mr. President Marvin Aerosmith of the AP, could you give us any estimate on how long it may be before Britain will get, uh, say, the intermediate ballistic missile under this Bermuda Agreement? And some talk that delivery is quite a way off. Well, I couldn't uh, give you any of the, I couldn't give you any firm estimate, and quite naturally, I wouldn't talk about the details of the deployment of such uh, weapons when they become available. It's a, uh, it was a matter of fact agreement in a matter of principle. Uh, Robert, the Washington Post, could you tell us, sir, within those limits of security, uh, how the deployment of these missiles, once they are in place in the UK and perhaps <coughs> elsewhere, is likely to affect the balance the power between the East and West. Is, is this something that will have a, bring a new preponderance to our side? Or is it only to catch up and match something which the Soviets already have? Mm -hmm. Well, of course, uh, when you're talking about such things, you're ranging rather closely into the area of um, of confidential information involving the deployment of troops and uh, what the value you expect to get out of it. I will merely say this, that each of these countries, our allies, has a right to the kind of, uh, of things that it can get for use within its own territory to defend itself. And when we're in a position to help, and there seems to be a scheme that is, uh, would uh, work to the economy of both our countries, why then we uh, favor it and explore it as far as we can. But I wouldn't want to, uh, to uh, discuss the uh, relative uh, strength of the uh, two, country, two nations in any, with respect to any particular state.